I like to push myself mentally and physically. I like to put myself in uncomfortable positions. But I also think when you hike in the desert, it really brings about what's important in life. It makes you see things clearly. When you hike, things come to you. When you meditate, things come to you. And one of the things that's come to me very strongly is to challenge people who other people think are the best wrestler in the world. We train with the undisputed best wrestler in the world, and we bring a message. For the last 10 years, I've heard people talk about how great you are. Kazuchika Okada, a once-in-a-lifetime professional wrestler. It's like Tiger Woods in the early 2000s. And I've also heard in interviews, you said that you want to wrestle me. You want to wrestle Brian Danielson. But I am the litmus test of great. You call yourself the Rainmaker, but you step in the ring with me, and you're getting into the desert, and there ain't gonna be no rain. I'm the fastest, I'm the best, I'm the most technically sound. I truly am the best. The best. The best wrestler in the world. Brian Danielson has long been regarded as one of the best wrestlers in the world, if not the best wrestler in the world. And as of late, people have begun to think of him as the greatest wrestler of all time. But that conversation can't happen without Kazuchika Okada's name being included in it. We are looking at perhaps the man that will one day go down as the greatest professional wrestler ever. When you think about what this match means for wrestling fans and how the internet kind of exploded when the announcement came down that Danielson and Okada would go at it one-on-one, -on -one, I really think the winner of this match has a right to say I'm the best in the world. I know I'm good. I know I'm great. I want to see where Okada's at. Kazuchika Okada, mentally, maybe just as sharp as Brian Danielson. He doesn't let people get under his skin. He stays calm, cool, and collected in even the most high-pressure situation. There is so much that Okada knows that he does not show you. He is impossible to game plan for. What makes him so special is his footwork. He's got explosivity, he's got quickness, he has a lot of power. I have no doubt that Okada feels ready to wrestle me on a stage this big. I mean, he's main evented Tokyo Domes how many times? The difference is, is that he's gonna be in the ring with me. Brian Danielson is one of the smartest, most highly technical professional wrestlers that have ever stepped foot in the ring. Some say he's the best pure wrestler in the world. Those knee strikes, he can hit you from every different way and perfectly. His mat work is off the chain. Right now, Brian Danielson is the best Brian Danielson I've ever seen. There's a difference between strategy and tactics. Tactics are just individual things that you use at random times, but if you don't have a good strategy, tactics are useless. Brian Danielson! Rainmaker, no! Spending time clearing your head gives you time to come up with a good strategy. I don't think Okada even thinks that deep about it. Who is the best in the world? Is it Okada? Is it Danielson? This is going to be a battle of wills. This is going to be a battle of pride. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of meeting. Who is the better man? And we're going to find out. Brian, let's see who is the real best in the world at Phobia Door. There may be nobody, and I mean nobody, who can stop Kazuchika Okada. If he doesn't give me the very best version of Okada, I'm going to kick the out of him. There's nothing wrong with being the second best wrestler in the world, unless you thought you were the best wrestler in the world. At 42 years old, I am the best version of Brian Daniels. And if Okada can beat me, maybe he is the best of a generation.